Hi, it's John Glynn. In this session, I'm going to be looking at the V Compose tool under the op Modify Options in Photoshop um, Elements 20. And I'm just using a normal PSC, uh, anything like that. So I'm the, in your and the normal mouse. So on the left hand side in your toolbox area, you'll find this V Compose tool. Okay. And you'll find underneath your photograph the options that you get for this particular tool. Um, restrictions are paper sizes, ratios if you wish, specific paper sizes. Um, I'm, I'm just going to leave it unrestricted, no restriction. Uh, there's a brush size. Um, I'll just say I undo that as I haven't done anything yet. There's a brush. And obviously you can resize that using this particular slider or um, the square brackets on your keyboard will also make it bigger or smaller, left hand smaller, right hand bigger. Um, and the threshold is the impact it will have over the whole of your photograph and the chances are you'll want to change the bulk of the image or keep the bulk of the image or whatever it's going to be. So we're going to have a go with this um, particular tool. It is a bit strange. So. Um, I'm going to, you have to make a decide, decide, mark with what you want to keep and what you want to remove. And then you have little eraser tools as well to um, to adjust, okay, slightly. So I'm going to say, let's mark for removal first. I want to take this woman out the middle of the frame. So I paint over her because I don't actually want her in the picture. If, you, as any, if you've over selected, you click on the eraser tool and you can change the selection okay um, if you want to and then you've got a plus uh, mark for protection areas you definitely want to keep okay say we want to keep all of this in the picture I'm going to just paint it all green so you can see it and we will also want to keep uh, the right hand side for argument's sake as well so all of that and again if i over select i can go to the eraser tool for the plus click on that and that allows me to take out uh, the bits that are over selected if i wish to okay now before we actually now what we do uh, to, to make the selection or to change the, to recompose the photograph is take the we've got anchor points at the edge and anchor points at the bottom and anchor points at the corners if I go to an edge anchor point if I can pick it up let's just um, oops, I'm on the wrong tool let's just redo that go to the edge I get a, a two-way arrow hold down the left mouse key and drag in and the little person in the middle they're starting to vanish however you do get some very strange weird effects that are going on okay so you have to be aware that it doesn't necessarily do a straight sort of edit so um, i'm just going to go back i'm just saying no i don't want that now let's see whether we can paint more red in say okay i'm going to take out all of that pillar okay so that that might help it to to find an edge um, and just straighten it up a bit oops I've ended up I just want to keep that bit in something like that and the same on that side so just take out that pillar with the person in it Okay, let's have a, a go with that. And again, go to an edge, hold down left mouse key and drag in. And you can see the weirdness that you get in, in doing something in the middle of the picture. Okay, um, it's taking out the whole, the whole wall and it gives a very strange sort of look so when you're using this tool you're going to, have to be extremely careful what sort of pictures you're going to choose to 
to try this on. I'm going to say no. Let's just try change the threshold to see if that makes any difference. Ooh, it's not working on the whole picture so quickly and you still end up some weird artifacts or weird design. So ch even changing the threshold isn't going to make any significant difference to that particular part of the picture. What about if we move to a different photo? Okay, here we've got um, a fourth velvage and it's falling over slightly, but we're not going to worry about that at the moment. What we're going to look at is taking out this bush in the foreground. Can we do that? It's the sort of thing we get in pictures. We think it would be handy to take things out nice and easily, recompose the picture. We don't want that in. We don't really want this part of it in either. If we could help it, we would take all that out. But we do want to keep the bridge. That's the assumption anyway. So let's paint that in. So we definitely want to keep the bridge and the horizon and so on. So let's just see where this takes us. I'm going to work from the bottom this time and wade my way up and see what weird effects we get. And as you can see, it has real problems removing or re-editing or recomposing the picture. Okay, so maybe it doesn't work so well on very, very big areas and areas which are going to be quite complicated in their structure. We could always have a, say, undo and just let's paint more green over the sky and uh, down the bottom here. Let's have another go. Is that going to be any better? No. So foreground, small tiny bits of foreground it might well work on. Nothing major though. Okay, so let's move on to another picture. I've got two people in this picture. I, I don't particularly want these two people. So I'm going to try and take them out. So just accept that I'm going to have to take them out and that bit and just run along because I'm going to have to take out part of the pavement as well. Uh, but I do want to keep the foreground. I want to keep the grass pretty much. And I do want to also keep most of the path and all the top bit. Okay. I don't know who these people are, so hopefully they don't mind. So, being in my little video. Okay, so um, I'll go down to the bottom again, that edge, and drag up and just see if they will vanish from my picture eventually. And eventually they do, but I don't have much of a picture left in the process of doing that. So is this a really useful tool? Um, personally I've never found any use for it, um, but maybe that's because I'm, if I make a big mistake, <laughs> it's too big to get round by just doing uh, this kind of thing. I think it, w it would work if it's a very, very small area of the picture you're wanting to move at the edges. Okay, um, anything in the middle, any big areas, you can basically forget it. And I've, I haven't actually found a picture I can try it on. Um, so, and for most people, it's things like this where people are in the middle of the frame you, you generally want to take out. Um, so I would, I would think it's going to be limited in its usefulness. But do have a go. Find a picture which you think might be useful to try on. As I said, anything in the foreground, maybe in the background, very small areas, uh, it may work. Okay, have a go. It is weird. Um, I'm not too sure how useful it really is though. Okay, thank you for watching.